Hello, and welcome back to Universe Sandbox, again. Now, um, it seems I got a lot of requests to do this again, I'm not sure. And my mic is giving me really weird feedback back in my ears, that really, I'll, I'll just tell me afterwards, I've got a new mic in case you didn't know, tell me about what the feedback's like. Anyway, so this is a model of our solar system. Now, you kind of all know what this game is capable of. Uh, I mean, I, oh shit. Yeah, getting used to a new mic. Um, uh, of course, I need to see what's loud enough. But also, how can I not keep breathing into the mic? Is here okay? I don't know. Oh, look, Sedna. Did you know that Sedna, I, I think it's... They're a snake-like being. I think they're the god... It's the goddess of the underworld and the Inuit religion. Yep. Yeah. yeah. It's a, I was discovered quite recently, I think, Sedna. Anyway, have you ever wondered what would happen if Sedna was actually a hell of a lot bigger? Have you? Well, what should we keep? It's mass? It's density? I don't know. Uh, well, its diameter is going to change at the moment. Let's make it the mass. Oh, shit, on a fuck stick. Of 18 moons. And that's absolutely fucking huge. Let's change it to. That's like the density of water. I want to change it to like, oh shit, no. Four grams. There we go. That's good. That's good. Now, if you change it to the mass of two Earths. Okay, how big can we make a rocky planet, do you reckon? How big can we make a rocky planet? Um, I'm not sure. What is this light pulse? Hold on, if we zoom out. Can we zoom out so far that, like, the light pulses? Oh, I see. So if something's, like, a light year away, it'll take a light year to get to it. The thing is, we're traveling at, like, a day a second. Oh, yeah, I wonder what that was, because I think I did one last last time I was on this, and I, I got confused. All right, let's just go the whole way. Let's make it a mass of 200 Earth. Okay, it's still no way near. If I make it the mass of 63 Jupiters, it's getting bigger, but it's not getting big enough. Oh shit, it imploded and became a star. Sedna is now a star, but apparently it's still a trans-Neptunian object. Oh, there's Eris. Dwarf planet. What happens if I slow down this thing's velocity? It's eccentricity, or it's eccentricity, right? That's it. How eccentric is its orbit? Okay, so now it's not as eccentric, so it's almost circular. Argument of periaps. So how how far around is the periaps? Can I say how high the periaps is? No. Let's like let's make a faster orbit. Oh fuck me. Where are you going to go? So that's quite close now. Is it going to attract anything, do you reckon? I want to speed around and see if anything gets close to this thing. Oh, it won't. Should we go up? Should we go up? Ten days. Oh, it's going faster. Oh. Should we make it hotter? Let's make it hotter. Let's add a zero in here. Ooh, what did that do? It made it, oh my shit, it's really fucking dense. This thing just got really dense. Total velocity is really fast. Actually, no, it isn't. I think the Earth's velocity is like 23 kilometers a second. Color, tint, texture, model, mathematical axis. Oh my god. Light. Yes, emit light. Let's make it brighter. Bright. That doesn't do anything. Is this... This is position. Orbital elements. That's the... Angle, I can't change the actual periaps, I don't think. Semi major axis. Ooh, uh, I think I should know what this means, but I don't. What happens if we put that down to 2.1 AU? Oh my shit, what's happened? What's happened? What's happened? Okay, now it's really close to the sun, and it's basically fucking everything up because it weighs almost as much as the sun. And it's really fucking dense, so all the planets are now going fucking batshit crazy. 
over Sedna. Oh. No, don't zoom in that much. So it seems if you make something too big, it becomes a star. Right, let's take this trans-Neptunian object and make it really fucking large. That isn't that large. Oh, is it still a rock? That's really interesting, because it's fucking huge. But it has, like, no mass. Okay, if we lock the size, and we make the density... Ugh, if we make it really dense, everything will come towards it. 77. Okay, now it's just a star. Why does this always end up with me making absolutely gargantuan stars? What have I done? What have I done? What have I done? Oh, I guess everything's literally just come over to this thing, because it's really fucking dense now. Oh, I look so pretty. Look so pretty. Okay, let's make it really... Let's swallow them all. Oh. Yeah, seriously, give me feedback around this mic. I, I don't know... If I put it too close... Okay, it's here all right. I can still hear that feedback, but... I want to make sure it's loud. But I want to make sure you're not getting me breathing into the fucking mic tons. Right, this thing doesn't seem to be very luminous. Luminous. Look at it. Do we need to make it hotter? Or is that just going to make it a black hole? I don't want it to be black. Oh, this... Okay. It won't stop being black. Oh, apparently it's meant to be white. How... It's got the mass of 1,304 Milky Ways. That's pretty dense. Actually, it's not pretty dense. It's got really low density. And the diameter of 48,000 AU. So, yeah. An AU, as I said last time, is distant from like the Earth to the Sun. It looks really wobbly for something with such a fucking huge diameter. Like, like let's, let's place something. Um, ooh. Yep, sorry, I was playing around with the mic. It's new, it's all new and shiny. Let's place a galaxy, shall we? Okay, so it still isn't as big as a galaxy. We can fix that. Yeah, we can fix that. Keep that mass. Actually, I'm going to add a few more digits onto that. Oh, for fuck's sake, come on. Stop being so black. Um, no, that's, that's, oh, that's not zero. Is that big enough for you? Okay, it's killed everything but Pluto. How fast is Pluto going? Two point four eight million light years. What a second? That's ridiculous. Oh, well, it looks like it's going to start coming back to us. Actually, no, no, no. It's continuing over that way. Oh, this is rings. Rings are shite. Remember? Well, they're not shite. They just. What's this? Oh, let's put a monolith in space. Hee <laughs> hee. What's this? Ring. Look, there's rings. I know why this thing... Ah, oh, right. Okay, I'm thinking. There's a few reasons why this could be like this. Either, right, it's so large... It, it could be that it's so massive... That its gravity... Is too much. Like, it could be so massive that its gravity is too much. That light... That the light physically is not going fast enough to escape its gravity... That or it could be the same way that even though we could see the sun, it wasn't illuminated. It could just be have a diameter that's far too huge. But I'm not sure how to solve that. I'm thinking if I lock the diameter, I give it a density of 10 grams per centimeters cubed. Okay, now it's got an absolutely fucking huge mass. Looks like all the rings just went through it, actually. Alright, if we lock the mass... 
make it a bit more dense. Oh wait, its diameter's gone down. Oh, of course. Right, let's lock that density. I should stop doing this, shouldn't I? It makes it really wide. Oh my god, why does it have this effect? Why is everything just bouncing around in this fashion? It's so weird. Let's make it larger. Oh, is that light? Wait a second. This is like the furthest I can zoom out. This is disconcerting. I can't zoom out further than this. What? 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 Come on. Come on. Come on. Are you serious? How big is a galaxy? Right. Oh, Jesus Christ. This is much larger than I thought. Okay, don't zoom in. Alright, um... Well, fuck. That's how big the Milky Way is compared to it. Let's make a few of them. Nope, they already appear on its surface. So Milky Way is 100,000 diameters and... Oh my fuck. Let's start... Let's open something else. Let's open with something simple, right? The Earth and the Moon. This is how far the Moon is away from the Earth. In case you didn't know, it's quite hard to get there. I don't know, let's do some funny shit with the moon. Should we give the moon rings? Oh wait, that that became really bad last time. Let's make it rotate really fucking fast. Oh wait, no, that's really fucking slowly. Fast. Yay, now it takes two days. Right. Of course, the Earth takes 23.9 hours. Oh shit, I thought it'd take... Oh, okay. That's awkward. Let's make it 2.9 hours. Oh, wait, that's 200... That's 9.96 days. That's not what I wanted. That's not what I wanted. Ah! 28.8 minutes to rotate. Should we put it down to... Real... Oh, fuck. Real time. One second. There's real time. You better believe it. This is real time. So from this point on the surface. Okay, I don't think it is real time. Because that's one second the game tick. So, yeah. And you can see the minutes at the top. This is like a minute a second, basically. A bit slower, I think. There's the moon. Jesus, I'm, I'm really uncomfortable with this mic. Oh, I don't know. It's just new. I, I, I'm, uh, my, my voice is probably being really variable through this, which is probably actually worse than it being really quiet or really loud. But, you know, just give me feedback. Like, I don't know, it needs to be... What happens if we make it really, really hot? It doesn't work. Yeah. Yeah. Not working. It's not working. Emit light. Be very lightful. Okay, fuck this. Why is it not day again? Oh, we no longer have a light side. Oh, well, fuck. What about the moon? Okay, the moon is brightly illuminated now because I made the Earth admit lots of light. Oh, fuck you, Earth. Okay, let's do something interesting, like randomly place in a galaxy. What's this? Object too big for auto-orbit. Hey, this galaxy looks awesome. It's a large magnetic cloud. Right, if I put another one here and another one here, then no, I want to focus on these. Can I increase their density and shit? Right, if we lock their diameter, give them a density of like one gram per centimeter. Holy shit, everything's coming towards it. Yes, bring me, bring me all your virgins. Wait, no, everything's going away from it. No. No. 
That sucks. Okay, we'll make it even farverly dense. Why didn't I learn my lesson? Hey look, it's like a singularity now. Everything's being sucked in. Okay. If we make the diameter one earth, if we lock that, and then make this unknown mass, oh yeah, sorry. Nine 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 nine. Yes, that's what I want. Really massive, three hundred seventy million suns, and it's really small diameter. Everything should be attracted to this thing. Why are you not attracted? Come on. Okay, it's starting to kind of warp space. I'm unhappy with this level of warping. Come on! Surprisingly, it hasn't crashed yet. Oh wait, we're still on one second. Let's put it back to two minutes. Oh! Ooh, ooh, it just passes through. It's probably accelerated too much. It'll go for like fucking hours that way. Let's praise this here. That's not doing anything, is it? Oh my god, it's orbiting. It's a galaxy. And it's orbiting. Not for long. If I put oh fuck I Ow oh, shit. I dropped my mouse off my desk. That's really awkward and annoying. Why do you guys watch this shit? It's just me playing with stars. Ugh! I should put the link again in the description in case some of you did not watch the first one and still want to watch this. Not watch this, play this. Random great stuff. It really is ow oh, fuck. It really is just fun just fucking around with shit. How fast is this accelerating? Not fast enough. Not fast enough. Come on. Oh, it just went straight past. That sucks. Um, oh. She put that down a bit. Yeah, let's look. Only put it down to like what? I don't know. 23,000 years a tick? Oh my god. Fucking hell, this cloud is absolutely bloody huge. Oh look, you can actually see the other one. It's like stretched out like that. Does this thing orbit no matter what? Ugh! No shit, shit, shit. Lag, 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 lag. Okay, let's watch from out here. Put a few more years on it. Make it ten times faster. Oh. Okay, let's make that like double speed. It's so pretty. Will it break if I zoom in? Holy shit, that's ridiculous. It's got, oh my god, it's got like galaxy swirls. So here, children, is proof that there is a supermassive black hole at the center of our galaxy. Not really, but that does look quite cool. That looks very cool. It looks very cool indeed. Speed it up a bit more. It's probably slowly destroying itself, which is probably a fate that will soon become ours too. What's this? Oh, that's what that originally was. Ho oh. ho. Swirls. Everything's being spaghettified. Yes. Let's turn this up to nine times. I can't tell if everything's being spaghettified more or less. What is this huge sausage like thing? I don't actually know. Okay, this is too much beauty for one day. Let's speed it up to ridiculous speeds. Oh, and everything gets destroyed as usual. My computer is also dying. Wow. Wow. I should really stop breaking the universe. Anyway, if you still don't have this game, I'll put the link in the description to the website or whatever. I think you have to pay like $20. Um, I don't work in dollars. I have no idea how much. That's like what? That'd be... Shit, let me think. 
That would be like, I don't know, 13, 14 pounds round there. It's interesting how, like, nothing is near the center. I wonder if that's the event horizon. Anyway, so yeah. This is Universe Sandbox, again, with me fucking up and generally breaking the universe. Ooh, look, it's a disc. But from me, for the moment, goodbye.